Hello YouTube, Eugene here with the review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie Edition action figures. Yes, friends. Well, in 1995, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie hit the theaters and, um, well, mainly the story was about them fighting a new enemy and then had to get new powers, new zords, and so on. So, the scoop with these figures in particular, these are the same molding from the Automorphin ones. The one thing they did was they gave the paint a nice metallic-y shiny look to them. Then they went ahead and they kicked out the flip head mechanism. So as you can see the figures are kind of like you know uh, much thin. They don't look like uh, these you know fat. Not, not really fat but you know these had the mechanism but anyway um, of course here is red and red you can see the difference alright friends so let's go ahead and take a look at these figures um, basically the key to uh, these figures is you know they uh, you get the figure and you get a blade blaster like you do with the other ones you don't get no weapon other weapons the only one that gets a weapon is white ranger but um let me get this out for a second here and show you what what else you get you get a power coin that will fit the morpher and this is uh, White Rangers one you can see it's got the uh, Tiger Zord in it and it, it's um, just about every other ones are like the same actual color as each Ranger so I want to show you that so let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, do right White Ranger first because you know as you can see uh, he does come with his own little Saba um, just like when you saw with the Automorphin he does have a little peg where he can hold the weapon now the shield does come off and uh, you know he looks naked but <laughs> anyway like I said same molding there's the helmet sculpture here very nice hello to my reflection to everyone uh, you know he can do a 360 arm articulation if you can without the shield uh, so and uh, you know arm movement knee movement and so on and there's his little holster for his uh, for Saba uh, and uh, you can either way put it like this and got a nice fit to it so let's put the shield back on uh, first off let's take a look at the shield there's the tiger symbol here so basically they didn't put no uh, the the coin of the falcon zord so anyway uh, but like I said definitely the same molding as the automorphic ones um, so anyway well let's go ahead and get to Red Ranger sadly um, well not sadly but as you can see um, nice helmet sculpture here um, now the coin here here's a scoop it's not painted it's an actual sticker yeah <laughs> uh, pretty much like the automorphins you do 360 arm articulation you know you can't move the head here now uh, I said they were the same molding as the Automorphin. Of course, the Automorphin ones, you could never move the head. Um, speaking of Automorphin, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this. But you can uh, let him have the, his own power sword, you know. So, and then uh, he has his own uh, blade blaster. Now, the blade blaster is, has like a more of a rubbery tip. Um, not rubbery tip, just rubbery in general. But, you know, same thing. And in here very nice and shiny red here um, some of you viewers are like ooh talk about shiny you're right <laughs> you are so right so uh, anyway let's put him aside we're gonna go with uh, yellow next so pretty much the same as there's the bear right there uh, nice helmet sculpture very very shiny I love these figures love them love them love them just because of the shine and as you can see it says on the back 95 Bandai made in China hello again <laughs> uh, so next we're gonna look at uh, Black Ranger and uh, nice helmet sculpture here just to let you guys know I forgot to say this in the Automorphin review now if you remember Green Ranger's shield uh, you can fit them on to the uh, Automorphin Red Ranger the Automorphin Black Ranger and anyone else these two 
but I didn't get a chance to show it to you guys. But anyway, nice black. Um, they all do uh, 360 arm articulation, can move the head, uh, so on, and, you know, bend the knees and everything. So, anyway. And some of you guys, while well, probably watching this review, I'm um, thinking about Adam on the show. I'm a frog. <laughs> Alright, and next, here is uh, Pink Ranger. Love the pink. They added some uh, uh, some white here on the tip here for uh, the Pink Ranger for the helmet here. Uh, nice helmet sculpture though. And as the crane coin here. Uh, can move the head all around. Uh, pretty nice metallic-y pink. And then your um, buckle here and then your blade blaster. So like I said, you're only getting, you know, a blade blaster just for the five because you already got the power weapons. So last but not least, here is Blue Ranger. Um, I say Blue Ranger for last because he is my favorite color, and plus I like uh, the the wolf um, uh, ninja zorb. Anyway, uh, nice helmet sculpture here, and there's his uh, wolf coin here. Like I said, they are stickers; they're not painted. Kind of like not what you saw with the uh, the Dino Zords on the uh, Automorphins. So, you know, nice blue on him. And, uh, uh, there's his um, blade blaster. Pretty much nice. So, like... Okay, friends. Let's go ahead and check out the cards that the uh, these figures come off of. And, uh, yes, I still got their cards. And, uh, here's their trays. You know, you pretty much... This is what I was telling you about. And you get this. So, you know. But anyway, let's check out the card. <laughs> As you can see, and I'm going to have to inch up my camera here, it says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. It's got, you know, the name of the Ranger movie edition. Got a nice shot of the six right here. And on the back of the box, box, on the back of the card, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the six um, Power Rangers, it shows you you can put uh, this in your actual Power Morpher. And it's got the movie edition Power Rangers and, of course, the whole line here. And, of course, here is the Evil Space Aliens. It says, collect them all. Made in China. So, uh, and that's all I'm going to show you guys. Uh, how the, the trays look and everything. So, um, one more time, let me show you this. Um, since, you know, same molding as the Automorphins. And, you know, you can definitely tell the difference. So, you know, movie edition, automorphin. So, anyway, well, I guess it's time to go ahead and conclude this review. Zooms before I go, and uh, then we'll conclude. But I really and truly uh, will definitely say this. I will say this in all of my reviews. But um, please check eBay if you are looking for these, or if you are really desperate and can't really find them. Uh, go to Ranger Board, make a thread, and say, ooh, I want the Power Ranger Movie Edition figures. Um, so anyway, uh, I do recommend them. They are nice. Love the shine on the, the, uh, on the figures. I mean, really, really nice. As you can see, they are very, I mean, they're still mint. They're, they have been in there, little plastic, uh, uh, the little things, uh, these here, for a long time. So... They've been well protected, and so, um, good luck to you guys on finding these Power Ranger toys, seriously. Um, and, you know, I would definitely hope and pray you do find them, so, uh, anyway. Uh, is that everything? Yes, it is. Well, anyway, friends, that is it. Please check out my blog. It's eugene42181spot.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. And my friends, this is the review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie edition figures. I hope you enjoy. Please comment and subscribe. I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.